Hey Scorpio, it's Natalie here doing a reading for you guys for the ending of September, beginning of October. I hope everyone is doing okay. This is going to be a general reading. It may or may not resonate for all Scorpios out there, but please feel free to check your birth chart um, if this does not resonate with you, okay? Uh, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. This may or may not resonate for everyone, okay? Let's see, what's going on with Scorpio? Holy Spirit and Angels. What is the energy right now for Scorpio? What's going on? The Scorpio, Holy Spirit and Angels. Mm -hmm. What is the energy for Scorpio right now? What is the energy for Scorpio? Thank you. Alright, so we have Spirit, Initiation. Someone has been initiated into something. I'm getting good vibes from it though, okay? Watchtower of the East Spring. Okay, yeah. So it's like something like giving you a, a, I just sort of breath of fresh air. You're a breath of fresh, fresh air to most people, uh, Scorpio. I feel like you have definitely been initiated into something, okay? Um, spirit is noticing you or spirit is like bringing you into something. That's the vibe that I'm getting here. Yeah, pinnacle and respect. It's good vibes. It's like someone has uh, a lot of respect for you. We also have scrying, mirror, and shadow, okay? Someone could be doing some mirror magic or trying to initiate themselves into some sort of occult through mirror magic, okay? Then we have Book of Shadows, Secret. Someone here wants to tap into the secrets that you know. Let me get another one, please, for Scorpio. Someone here is trying to see what you see or know what you know, Scorpio. That's what I'm getting here. Yeah, we have Watchtower of the East, the spring card again. I feel like you, you guys are just living like a happy life, though. I feel like you're not noticing this person or you're not, yeah, you're in the cleansing energy. You're cleaning your energy out, um, you're cleaning your home, cleaning your uh, space, setting up a protection aura around you because someone here wants to get into the book of shadows. Someone here with the book of shadows here, they have definitely initiated them something into something dark and they thought they were going to be initiating themselves into something light and there's mirror magic here. So someone is trying to mirror you or be you. Also hearing picture magic. Someone uh, values your... Someone who really looks at your beauty. They're really jealous of it. Clarify spirit initiation for Scorpio. Spirit initiation for Scorpio. Someone, is look, someone wants to be you. That's the energy that I'm getting here. Yeah, we have third eye and clarity. I feel like you guys are on the right side of whatever is going on right now, Scorpio. Yeah, spy. someone here is watching you. They want to see what you see. They want to know what you know. Okay. They're like peeking behind whatever. Probably watching you on social media. With the book of shadows here. It's like they they may have a book. Uh, Scorpio. Okay. Or you could be the Scorpio that has a book. But it's the book of shadows. It's not really a. a, a, a it's not really something you should be opening up. Especially with the mirror magic. You're just going to project it onto yourself. All right, clarify scrying mirror. Clarify scrying mirror. Someone here is, I feel like you guys also did a lot of shadow work. Three, three, three on the clock. You did a lot of uh, mind, body, and soul cleansing, okay? Yeah. I feel like you guys are definitely clearing out your energy. Why is that here? The scrying mirror shadow. Okay, toxicity bound in patterns. Yeah, I feel like you guys have definitely did a lot of shadow work. You guys have definitely broken out of some sort of confusion, uh, some sort of lie. You've got clarity about it. But there's, like, someone here trying to, like, uh, mirror you by being toxic. They're not understanding. They, they keep repeating something here. Someone here keeps repeating a spell or just repeating uh, a way of life, thinking it's going to change. Clarify the Book of Shadows, please. For Scorpio, this is a secret. Something here is a secret. Yeah, epiphany and breakthrough. Okay, and then we have disharmony, triggers, and conflicts. Okay, so it's like um, someone here is just now realizing what they've gotten themselves into. They see it now. Yeah, clarify epiphany and breakthrough. Why is that here for Scorpio? Epiphany and breakthrough. Okay, renewal and spark. I feel like you guys are on the good side of the Book of Shadows, if that makes any sense. It's like the it's like the ancestors or the spirits around the situation, even the evil spirits, 
uh, deal with you uh, in a respectful manner. Yeah, I heard, yeah, you guys have respect. You ha guys have respect from, like, the underworld in a way. And that's why something here is not touching you. Or someone here wants something to touch you, Scorpio. Yeah, someone who's been getting rejected. You're not getting rejected, though. It's in the reverse. Someone here wants you to be rejected by the ancestors. There's someone here who's doing magic to get you rejected by the ancestors. They're not really smart. We have Storm and Unexpected. It was unexpected that you're actually the one that... This person um, has a lot of trauma and, and ego problems here. That's why they believe that you shouldn't. you don't deserve what you have, Scorpio. It's going to bounce back onto them. It's um, You're not getting any losses because you see everything clearly. You're walking, you're stepping over like the potholes uh, that you see that are, that are set for you. You step over traps. You know how to step over the traps, Scorpio, that people are, are setting for you. Clarify Watchtower of the East Spring Energy for Scorpio. Maybe something here happened in the springtime. Why is that here? Yeah, look, spring, seeds. Something here happened in the springtime. You planted seeds. Avoidance and stalemate. Truth and expression. Someone here is avoiding the truth. Uh-oh. Tell me something more. Um, yeah, attraction, Mars, and hot. Someone here, okay. You could be dealing with a fire sign, Scorpio, that maybe had, like, planted a seed somewhere, and, and they're avoiding the truth about it. Yeah. Someone here went after something. Um, for some of you, they actually have gotten someone pregnant. I'm hearing, yeah, with the seeds, attraction, and shadow sides. Someone here has this, like, dark negative energy about themselves. And it made them plant a seed that they didn't want to plant. Now, the only thing that makes sense about that is a pregnancy, okay? It could be an investment, too, that, uh, that has to do with money. But with this attraction and hot next to the shadow side, someone here has some sexual addictions, maybe had got someone pregnant on accident. Now they're realizing they don't want it. I feel like whoever is on the other side of this Scorpio, it could be like the other person that's pregnant, they're trying to be you or they're trying to be a feminine, all right? So put yourself where you belong in the story. Let's see. Yeah, we have the moon card with the Ten of Pentacles. Someone here is like, uh, keeping to themselves about some money or deceiving someone about some money or a commitment or a legacy. There's secret money somewhere too, Scorpio. I don't know how that resonates for you. Or someone could be hiding a family. Alright, what's going on with Scorpio? What's going on with the sign of Scorpio, Holy Spirit, Angels? Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. Someone here wanted to stop something. It's not stopping, Okay. Uh, Virgo energy, yeah, someone here is receiving karma, but things are turning in your favor right now. Someone's been blocked, though, because they don't have, I'm, like I'm getting, they don't have the book of shadows. They don't have, they don't have that, whatever book they have is the wrong book, because the high priestess is in reverse, okay? King of Wands is in reverse, in action, lazy energy, not enough to offer, okay? So someone here is performing magic with not, maybe not enough money to, uh, uh, provide for them for the for the magic to get the equipment that they need we have the eight of wands here something here is moving fast four pentacles in the reverse someone here is releasing something pretty fast what else for scorpio someone here wants to release something they're going to come and message you yeah the sun card could be dealing with a leo I feel like you make someone happy, Scorpio, but at the same time, you're happy on your own. Someone here wanted you to be scattered and all over the place, but you're not. You're not having any anxiety about something. Um, this person is intimidated by that, and they like to come in and bring you an offer or tell you a truth here. Yeah, the lovers and nine of swords, they don't want to lose you. Okay, they choose you, or they're afraid that someone is choosing you. Someone here is afraid that someone is choosing someone else, okay? Yeah, the Seven of Wands in the reverse and the King of Cups. This King of Cups is in love with someone here. Cancer Pisces Scorpio energy. He may hide his feelings, but he's going to express them pretty soon. Yeah, the Eight of Pentacles here. They want to put in some effort. Someone is realizing that they can't stop you or they can't stop who this person loves. What's the outcome for Scorpio? What's the outcome for Scorpio? Someone can't stop who this masculine loves. Yeah, the Page of Pentacles here. They're going to start off by offering something or giving some 
some sort of communication to heal this three of swords situation here. Yeah, because they chose the devil and they chose the wrong thing. Capricorn energy, they're scattered. They broke up a commitment here or a partnership. The world in reverse and the empress in the reverse here. They may have closed it out. They may have closed it out uh, for a devilish energy here, for a toxic energy. And realize that maybe they were bonded to it, but at the same time, it's like they realize it was the it was just the wrong decision to make, Scorpio. So now with the Page of Pentacles is the outcome. Someone is coming to you as if they learned something, right? Like they got a jewel, like they picked up a jewel dealing with this toxic energy here. Getting heavy earth energy with Leo and Cancer Pisces Scorpio, okay? Clarify the uh, Knight of Pentacles in the reverse, please. For Scorpio. Eight of Swords. Someone here wanted to keep you trapped. Why the Eight of Swords, please? Yeah. Someone here wanted to keep you trapped and cause difficulties. Yeah, it had to do with money here. Or keeping someone trapped. 11, 11 on the clock, I see. This could have been the karmic. Maybe trying to keep someone trapped into something that they didn't want to be. The karmic could be a, a cancer. It doesn't have to be. Someone wanted someone to be stuck in illusions. Yeah, the world card. There's no more illusions and there's no more, no more love in this situation. This could be you doing this or your person leaving their karmic, okay? So put yourself in the story where it belongs, where you belong, please, and thank you. But something here is closed out. Like it's a missed opportunity in love, okay? Someone here is realizing that they can't stop someone from doing what they want to do is basically what I'm seeing. They can't stop you or their person can't stop them. It could be both of you guys. All right. Eight of Wands, please. For Scorpio. Three of Cups. Here, someone wants to reconcile. Yeah. The Knight of Pentacles in the reverse again with the Lovers in the reverse. And the Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. And the Seven of Pentacles in the reverse. Someone here invested in, into a third party and it did not work out. It was the wrong choice. They thought they made the right choice and they didn't. Four of Pentacles, but they never let go of you. Yeah, but they denounced this devil energy that they were maybe working with. Okay? It was a family. It was all about money. There was some stealing maybe going on or deception with the moon card. Yeah, someone here is... I feel like you guys are still blocking this person or you're holding back your energy and, and you don't want to talk to them. Or when you do talk to them, it's like... um. You're not giving a lot of information out or you're not giving all your feelings out to them, okay? This person does have feelings for you, though. Clarify the Four of Pentacles, please, for Scorpio. The Lover's in the reverse again with the Knight of Cups in the reverse. Um, someone here doesn't have a, a good attitude about this relationship, and it could be you guys. Um, I see where you guys are coming from. Um, I feel like with the Knight of Cups in reverse, you feel like this person likes to maybe give everybody their cup. Yeah, Page of Swords in reverse and the Hermit. Yeah, it's like you have a bad attitude about the situation. You'd rather be alone by yourself in Hermit mode. Um, yeah, you're the Empress, though, so it's like, you know, nice for be nice for what, right? And we have the Knight of Swords in the reverse here with the Two of Wands. It's like you're turning your back on this energy. You don't want anything to do with this person. But this person is coming towards you. Um, they're very enlightened about who you are. Clarify the sun, please, for Scorpio. Why the sun here for Scorpio? Okay. Eight of Pentacles and the Eight of Wands again. Yeah, this person is really focused on um, definitely communicating with you. I'm hearing constant communication. Someone here could actually be texting you a lot. Okay. Um, just focus or like texting you while they're working. Okay, four of pentacle, four of cups, and the judgment in the reverse. Someone here got rejected. They're not getting the judgment that they thought that they were gonna get. Something here is not being revived. I feel like you don't want anything to do with this person. With the Queen of Wands and the Moon card, I feel like someone here is doing magic. All right. Why is the Eight of Pentacles here for Scorpio, Holy Spirit, and Angels? There's that six of pentacles in the reverse. Okay. Yeah, I feel like there's no reciprocity being done because I feel like it's coming from your guys' side. You guys feel like it's imbalanced. Okay, justice in the reverse. Something is imbalanced about the situation. You feel like this person gives to other energies. Or you don't want this person uh, taking from you. You don't want this person taking from you what you worked hard on. And I feel like that's why this person could be communicating to you. 
clarify the Six of Pentacles in the reverse. Why is that here for Scorpio? Yeah, the Queen of Swords in reverse and the Nine of Wands. Okay, this is also what I'm getting here. This Queen of Swords here is like, um, she keeps doing something over and over and over again. She keeps saying something over and over and over again. She's not really smart. She's a slanderer. Um, she's getting tired too. She wants something from you or this masculine. Because she's not getting what she wants. She's not happy that this masculine is in love with you or this masculine. Is, yeah, look, five of wands in reverse and a fool in the reverse. You're not trying to fight with this person. You don't even care. Okay, but this uh, feminine energy really does care. The queen of swords in reverse and the nine of wands. It's like she's setting up. Just like she's trying to. Oh, okay. I heard she's setting someone up. Maybe slandering them. Okay, just doing something over and over again. Nine of wands. I don't know how long she's going to do this, but... With the Seven of Wands in reverse, it gives me vibes that she's going to have to quit soon. Seven of Wands in reverse, please, for Scorpio. Yeah, because it's a bad investment. It's not going to It's not gonna work, okay? Um, strength in reverse. Someone here is weak. They can't stop this masculine from loving somebody here. They can't stop them. They can't put this masculine in an illusion. Seven of Pentacles, please, in reverse, for Scorpio. Yeah, so, yeah there's a Queen of Cups. Because this masculine will always love this queen of cups. We have the queen and the king out here. Yep. Something here failed. Something here. Someone here feels defeated. They feel left out in the cold. All of that jealousy. All of that um, being fake. They're realizing that they don't have enough for this masculine. Because this masculine is on his way onto you. Now, you, you guys, I'm getting the energy that you guys don't want them. You guys uh, could have feelings for them, though, but at the same time, it's like, I feel that you guys don't have a good attitude about what's going on right now, okay? Yeah, the moon in the reverse came out, the hierophant in the reverse, and ten of wands in the reverse. Someone here is letting down a burden. They're realizing that something here is not... Someone here is letting down a burden, okay? The hierophant in the reverse is letting me know that there's something that you believe in that this person doesn't or, you know, with their person. Then we have the moon in the reverse. Something has been revealed. Someone here wasn't being committal anyway. You're noticing that someone wasn't committal anyway. I'm going to put these three back. But let, clarify this queen of cups. Let me get one card for the queen of cups, please, Holy Spirit angels. Five of, five of swords in reverse again. Also, I'm getting that you're so loving, too. It's like someone can't get underneath your skin. Knight of Pentacles here. Page of Pentacles in reverse and three of Pentacles in reverse. High Priestess in reverse. Someone even had people working with them, and even that didn't work. It all failed. Clarify the King of Cups here. This King of Cups is being very quiet about who he has feelings for, but he knows who he has feelings for. Okay, yeah, the Three of Wands in the reverse. Okay, yeah, the Hierophant in the reverse. Tell me more. Why is that three of wands in the reverse, please? King of swords in the reverse. Yeah, this masculine is not telling the truth about who he's in love with. In fact, it's kind of irritating him that he can't get to his feminine. He thinks that money is the reason why they're not together. The King of Swords in Reverse is a liar. So I feel like he's not exactly telling someone the truth here. And the Three of Wands in Reverse is like something that they're waiting to come in. It's not coming in. So they could be taking it out on the other person. Why is the King of Swords in Reverse, please? Here for Scorpio. Ten of Wands and the Hierophant. Yeah, whatever relationship that they're in, it's burdensome. So they're going to continue to like act like a butthole to maybe this Queen of Swords. Yeah, look, the Queen of Swords in Reverse and the king of swords is in reverse so these two are arguing right now but then there's the king of cups here with the queen of cups and they're both upright so it's because this masculine is in love with someone else okay it could be you i think it's you guys but you guys just don't have a good attitude about this uh relationship anyway the lovers is in reverse this is a breakup you see them as fake um you see them as like it's, it's just a missed opportunity of love it's like the flame died out why is the Page of Pentacles here in the outcome? Page of Pentacles in the outcome for Scorpio. Death card. Something here is ending. Page of Swords and the Queen of Wands and the Magician. Someone, Someone's magic isn't working. She's just constantly watching to make sure something is working and it's not working. Scorpio energy is coming out though. So you guys are coming out on top. 
They're not getting the right judgment here. It's not working. Someone's being rejected by spirit. Why the death card here for Scorpio? Holy Spirit angels. Yeah, someone here is getting karma. Libra energy. Strength in the reverse. I feel like this person is like, um, they have to pay something with the Page of Pentacles there. They have to give something up. Do something noble. Transform. I feel like you guys are transforming. You guys are getting your karmic justice in the situation. Um, that's why things just aren't working anymore. Yeah. Something about karma. Like, a lot of karma here. Getting served. Okay, two of wands. Making a decision. Choosing a path. Okay, ace of swords. Okay. Whatever truth is being revealed here, someone it's going to start a fight, maybe. Someone here is going to try to delay something or someone for moving forward or they try to there's that king of cups again he's making his decision to transform to give his uh, feminine an offer to the one that he actually loves this queen of uh wands here she's not in the reverse but it's giving me vibes that this queen of wands is going to try to do something to, like sneaky to try to stop something okay but when he was working with her it was like it wasn't cooperative okay yeah something here wasn't cooperative and now he's looking at you okay he has deep feelings for someone here. And he's trying to be strategic and quiet about it. Okay. They can't stop this love. They can't stop someone from loving you. Okay. And I feel like that's what he has told her. Denial and happiness. Someone here is in denial that they're happy with you. What's going on, Scorpio? What's going on, Scorpio? Love. I commit to the practice of seeing the good in all things. This masculine sees all the good in you right now. But with relationships in reverse, you're not worried about this relationship. What else is going on with Scorpio? Holy Spirit and angels. Surrender. I can release my need to control. Someone here needs to let go of this because they can't stop who someone loves. They need to let go of their pride. They see it's a bad investment, but I feel like they've been doing it for so long. They have to keep going. Uh, the third party does. Yeah, change. I understand nothing can grow or evolve without movement. This masculine is trying to change his ways and let go of his pride. Let's get some um, messages for Scorpio. I know the truth. I know who you are is here. Any messages for Scorpio? What do you give someone that has everything? So this masculine is trying to figure out how he can like give you anything when you when you walk around as if you have everything. You know what I mean? Okay, so we have enemy, arch villain, and hater. There's a hater around. We have BDBM drama. And then we have I dream a lot about you. This person dreams a lot about you. This is like they're yeah, they're having drama with each other. They're not they're fighting because of you. Because they know that this person actually has feelings for you okay maybe they lied to them before we have exposed the lovers gemini twins soulmates it's exposed that this person yeah that you are the real twin 23 23 on the clock yep uh breaking silence someone here wants to speak to you okay you're authentic there's really no one like you yeah that's the masculine admitting that i thought my intentions were good i was tricked yep i could see it someone here was tricked i'm stuck in something i can't get out of then we have awareness. They're aware that they're stuck in something that they can't get out of. And they're aware of all the red flags that's going on around um, this karmic uh, energy. Alright guys, so that was your reading. Hope this resonated for you. If it did, go ahead and please like, subscribe, share to my channel so you don't miss any of my videos. I will see you guys next week. Thank you. Namaste. Bye.